Hey, I'm Michael. Welcome to Woogles Outdoors. We're on our way to check out a cave today off of a trail beside the ranger's cabin here. What we're doing is we're heading up to what's called the Lost Dog Cave. Now I have this video on YouTube already uh, called Appalachian Caves or something like that. Uh, it's just a musical thing. There's not a whole lot to it, just a little bit of scenery. But I didn't actually go into depth about it or even go that far into the cave. Today, my goal is to go up there. It's summertime. I went there in the winter, so I'm going to go up there in the summertime, actually explore it a little bit and see what we can find. Um, don't know much about it, though. That's the only problem. But we'll figure it out, that's for sure. I, I've got to figure out where it's even at up here because, like I said, during the wintertime and the summertime, it really makes things a lot different. So we will figure this out, but... We've got a little ways to go with old Stapleton back here. So this trail is laid in by a game trail, it's a deer trail, which makes it extremely narrow. Not only that, it's hard to navigate sometimes, but whew, you can do it. Oh, just twisting my foot again. Anyways, uh, it's all uphill though. That's the fun part. <laughs> yeah, kind of sucks. Just gotta keep pushing though. We're not too far away. I don't remember exactly where it was, but I'm just going to tell myself we're not too far away, so mentally it helps. I swear I didn't pee my pants. As he peed his pants. I probably peed my pants. But these little uh, outdoor bags from Walmart, they're, they're a liter pouch, they're like two bucks. Can't beat that. I bought a couple of them a long time ago, and it lasts a while, but after a while they get these little needle size holes in them. If you ain't careful, it'll leak a little. Do we go that way or this way? Just a question. Is it? If you fall though, you take a good 50 to 40 foot fall down the mountain down that way. Well, we have the slickest shoes that I own on. Well, you got a decent little wall to wrap onto here, but let's head down there. We actually kind of got lost for a second. Not lost. We knew where the trail was, the general direction, but. I went off the trail thinking that it was somewhere else because, like I said, the last time I came up here was during the winter and it was on the way down the mountain, not on the way up the mountain. But it doesn't take long at all to get here. Very quick little trail, very easy to get to. Get it. So, I'm on my knees right now and typical position for me, right? Anyways, kind of got to pay for my hiking hobby somehow. Uh, we're at the cave. You guys are actually sitting up on the rock wall of the cave. I'm taking my backpack off and leaving it out here. There's not enough space to get in there. Uh, what I am going to take with me is my water, taking my blowgun, and because uh, I don't know if there's any critters in here or not. That's the only thing I really am worried about is maybe a raccoon or even a bear could be dinned up in there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty little, man. Hey, pro, a black bear could fit in there. Lovely. I'm going to take a, a headlight with me. You're supposed to take three sources of light with you when you go into a cave. Just a little tidbit of knowledge there for you. However, um, I'm not taking three three sources of light with me. So, yes. probably not the smartest thing I could do, right? Yeah, but at least we have a source of light with us. Well, I've got two different sources with me, and then uh, we probably have a lighter or something somewhere. But, oh, and I can start a fire in there if I had to. So, take my fire kit, I'll take my headlight, which works, take my ferro rod, and then my cell phone also acts as a light. So, three sources, I've got three sources with me. Oh, all right. You ready for this? Let's do it. Cave entrance, super tiny. Uh, comes out right here. And like I said, super, super tiny. I'm trying to see if there's anything in it. Uh, see back in there a little ways. Fucking fog in here. You just scared the piss out of me. Good. Let's get in here. Run like hell away from the lakes of Kalashandra. Oh yeah, the Jenny Falls Cave. So these are cave crickets. 
that are in here. Uh, these little suckers are in here all year long. Uh, they're very, very edible. So if you're out here in the wintertime or something and you can find a cave, you can usually find cave crickets. It's a very good source of protein. Uh, this cave goes pretty far back, actually, and there's a little uh, tunnel back there. And that's why I'm curious as to where it goes. You can see some of the shining off this, and that's uh, dew, so there's a little high water content in here. As far as I know, the air is breathable in here. I mean, at the entrance, of course, because there's tons of uh, uh, air inflow. As far as going back in there, I have no clue how much air is in there, and that's what I'm afraid of is dead air. But we're going to kind of visit that a little bit, and then you can check out this little lizard on the wall right here. Just got scared to death. Well, bears aren't funny. <laughs> um, I don't think I've moved that fast since like track in high school. Is uh, I'm looking up in this little entrance up here, this little tiny entrance, and I was like, "There's a bear run!" And I just took off. And it, I swear to God, he would have knocked his head on that rock right there. Uh, no, I was diving. <laughs> it was you, so funny. You stopped me mid dive. Oh my goodness, that was hilarious. All right, let's continue on. The story of this cave is this is the Lost Dog Cave. Now, the Lost Dog Cave was found. By some coon hunters who had a couple coon dogs up in here. <laughs> Michael gets scared so easy. I almost rammed you in the back of the head with this when I realized that you were joking. I wasn't though. There was actually uh, something dripping from the ceiling and I thought I'd seen something falling on me. Anyway, it's kind of sketched out. So, there's... It's called you're the, not my friend. You, want, you act like you're my friend. You are not my friend. It's called the Lost Dog Cave though. Uh, because... They had some coon dogs come up here, and they tracked them because they had tracking devices on them. But uh, ch chased a coon into this cave, and supposedly it didn't come out for a few days, like three or four days or something like that. But supposedly it goes up in here a good ways. I'm not sure how far or anything like that, but that's what I know. Uh, but it's called the Lost Dog Cave. I hate it. You hate this? I like big caves. Big caves are nice. These little tiny spring caves, they suck. But, uh... I can't. Oh. Hey, that was me. That was me. That was me. It was my knife. Oh, <laughs> got it on camera. Lovely. <sighs> Sounded like an animal hissing. That was my knife hitting against the cave wall. I just hit my face on like every part of it. <laughs> oh, okay. goodness. Okay. So, go up in there. Can you? I can. I can. It's just... Can you see like me on that curve? Yeah, it, it hits a while back here. Is that it? Yeah, like I can get it on video. Yeah, yeah, get that for but me. But I am not crawling all the way back there. Get it on video for me. That's what matters. Here's the camera. Okay. Now you see how sketchy it is back there with no light. Does it open up back there at all? Uh, no. No, it's it, it, get, it gets thinner down in there. Mm. Like, majorly. <sighs> okay, well, let's turn around. Crawl up. You can't turn around is the only problem in this cave. I so, just managed to turn around, but... Oh, God, you're a skinny little sucker, though. I, okay, there we go. Just managed to turn. Fun video there. You're welcome. Sheer terror. We gotta take some pictures. Wish you guys could've saw my face. Let's take some pictures. This is a video. Oh. So, the moral of the story is the cave doesn't go too far back, undoubtedly. I thought it went a lot further back, because in the wintertime when I came up in here, I couldn't go there. Uh, there was just so many people up in here. So what we did is uh, we called it quits just like right in this area. I think the cave itself goes probably, what, uh, like 100 feet or something like that? I mean, it goes back pretty far. It's just you, you can't. can't physically get there. It's uh, it, it, You're too I mean, big. I probably could have, but I've already been terrorized <laughs> here. <laughs> I'm so. kind of a jerk. But, uh, no. yeah, there would have been a lot better footage if he wasn't such a jerk. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Sorry, guys. But this is the Lost Dog Cave. Not a whole lot to it. It's just more of the entrance. I'll just kind of show you. So it's the entrance, it's the walkway, the crawl, and then the back space back there. And it goes a little bit further than that, obviously. But uh, you'd have to be like the size of a coon or something to go back in there or maybe a dog. But we can't. can't really something small. Yeah. But uh, kind of broad, isn't it? Yeah, after it, after it goes off, it's dark, and then it gets broad. So this cave sponsors many, many of these little cave crickets. Um, there's quite a few of these little lizards in here that want to hang around and then there's the rock walkway that goes back in there and actually I'll turn my light on and try to help out with that a little uh, it's kind of blurry so Let's see if I can get it to focus some there we go so it goes all the way back in there that's a crawl way that goes back uh, probably about 50 feet or so from when I showed you on camera um, but then again here's the rest of the cave the entrance is like right over there that little air hole the far right one 
These little things are crickets, cave crickets, that I guess die in here or freeze to death or something crazy. It stays at a pretty constant temperature. But if you know what happens to these things, let me know in the comments below. But what uh, this looks like is this little resin or this moss style stuff that grows on the walls in here. I actually grow all around these crickets and uh, kind of encase them. And I imagine that would be really cool uh, in the fact that it would petrify them to a, an extent. Okay, oh, still doing that. I'm heading out uh, of the cave, which I'm sure I've got my mouth and stuff still on my side. It only smells funky right here at the entrance. Oh, goodness. My lot. Huh, good time to leave. My lot just died. So, <laughs> check that, that out. I would have killed you if I got in <laughs> If there. we would have been way back there in our lot. I would have killed you. That sucks. That does suck. <laughs> <laughs> I still jumped on that one and I knew you were messing with me. Okay, wait. You're a very dirty man. Yeah. <laughs> dirty, dirty boy. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Woogle with Woogles Outdoors. Go down below, like, subscribe, and comment. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'm sure you will. Uh, I'm sure you will too. Lots of funniness in it. All these hits trail videos I do are kind of outdoorsy vlogs of my hikes, my camping trips, and stuff I do. And there's usually some humor thrown in there, especially if this guy tags along with me. But, uh, Definitely, definitely go check out some other videos. Tons of bushcraft survival style how-tos out there as well. Uh, lots of vlogs, but definitely tons more of this stuff along the way. Peace out, guys.